Okay, and this lecture we're gonna talk about integrating forms over manifolds. And this will be similar to the one we define scalar function integration over manifolds. So we will, we will abbreviate some of the uh, our arguments. So here we start with a compact oriented K manifold. F is a K form defined on open set containing M, and we let C be this set. Then we know that C is compact, and suppose we have a coordinate patch set that, such that it lies in a orient, given orientation, and it contains C. We make U bounded, open and bounded, and then we define this to be equal to this. So if U is open RK, we have this. If U open HK but not RK, we have this. Those are the same way. They're all similar from this lecture, right? There's so many similarities, so we just abbreviate them. Okay, and note, this integral exists as ordinary integral, so hence ex extended. First, by definition, this can be extended to a CFN map, be a smooth map on a U prime open in RK. So if U is open in this, then we have this. Then that is automatically true. But if it also open in HK, then it's CR on this set. It's smooth map on this set. Well, by definition, if it's a smooth map on this set, then it could be extended to a smooth map on an open set, open in RK, right? Then, with that being said, this can also be extended to the smooth form on U prime. So here, which means that H is a smooth on U prime by lemma this lemma point nine point two. So, we have this by definition. And we know that H is continuous and vanishes outside this set. And this set is compact, right? Because alpha, this inverse is also smooth, continuous, which is compact, and so H is bounded. Well, it's a continuous bounded function, right? So we can apply all the previous theorem we have proven. U is not open, then we know this. So this is like basically like copying those. They like the exact same arguments. So, so in here we know that this, which means that this exists. Then this exists, so this exists. Okay. Okay. Also, this is independent of the ch choice of coordinate patch and the transition, because when the transition is orientation preserving, so the, so the sign epsilon is equal to one in the theorem thirty three point one, and it's linear. So we have this because these two are linear, and this. If we denote negative m be, to be the manifold with opposite orientation, then we have this by theorem 33.1 again. Okay, so now we're trying to define this in general. In general, we have to do partition of unity, right? So which cover m by coordinate patch belong to the orientation, blah, 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 right? Then we define it to be like this, very similar to once we define here, right? This and so with all these, with all these, thank to the fact that we, because we went through the orientations, the oriented manifold, those contents, it agrees with the previous one. It's in the event of Turing patch, and also linear, and we also have these two facts. So, um. We can just conclude them. Okay, so now I have a theory of 33.1. <laughs> um, with IK to be equal to this, so interior is the open cube, and boundary equals to this. All right, so now we, this statement is kind of long, so K is greater than one first. So this is a K minus one form defined on the open set U of our K containing the unit K cube. So it contains the unit K cube. Assume it vanishes at all points. So on the boundaries. Boundaries, which is this this set, subtract by the interiors, which is like the faces. Right? Now it vanishes all all points on this, but possibly at points at the subset, this. So this This is like the bottom face, right? Then we have this equality, where this P is the map of this, 
okay this lap so we have this we just verify both sides and we use the given conditions we use the given conditions we just calculate both sides and then we see they're equal to each other we don't try to compare them we just we just calculate them directly okay so for j to k we let ij be to k k minus one tuple that ignores j so this elementary elementary alternating tensor elementary form right this elementary form well it's going to be equal to this alternating form or whatever so we ignore this one so because it's a k minus one form right it's a k minus one form d b star are linear so we just consider nita to be equal to this so we calculate this side first we calculate this side so we just look at this well to look at this we have to look at this first and we look at this it is equal to right this and to this we have the theorem right and so it extends from 1 to k but this one it ignores ignores j so as you run through from 1 to k there will be duplicates except for xj right so if xj appears all the other terms they vanishes so the only one left is with xj and you flip xj all the way to its so we arrange it like this ascending order and you can mental do some mental math we can we have to flip this j minus one times okay so now we calculate this is basically by definition right is equal to the integral of this thing well this becomes this right and we use Fubini's theorem we just we just focus on the last coordinate so xj i v i j so v is equal to this Fubini's theorem we just focus on the coordinate that is uh that we ignored okay now so for this one ignored we just try to calculate it using fundamental algebra uh, fundamental theorem calculus and as nita so does f it vanishes at this but maybe on open bottom face this right this is our given condition right at all points except possibly at those points now with that being said if j is less than k then this vanishes right if j equals to k then we have this well this vanishes so this is going to be equal to this right so here we have this is equal to this well this right we have neg one to the k minus one right and we bring this negative four so this is negative one to the k and this inside is going to be look like this where b is the map we said it's going to be equal to this right okay now we calculate this side this thing b star we see the derivative so we have this we have a we have a formula to compute those and you observe their determinants right size zero if j is less than k is equal to this so this thing is equal to one right because the matrix is look like this if j is equal to k now so we have b star n is basically b, b star nita is basically b star of this right and remember that b star it preserves wedge product uh differential operators so by some little calculation it's going to look like this well observe that they look by exact same but you just multiply negative one to the k in front of this then they're equal all right so this speed runs this lecture